All right, guys, I guess it's time. It's time to show you the anemone tank. Uh, this tank here, uh, well, I guess, you know what? Let me turn the camera around and I'll tell you all about it. All right, guys, here's the anemone tank. It's a uh, 45 gallon, I wouldn't call it a cube, but as close as it comes to it, since it's uh, long, but then the longer than what it is here, um, it's, 18 inches from you know uh, side to side and 18 inches front to back and 27 inches tall um, here you'll see a ritter eye or rittery anemone uh, it's all droopy because I turned off the flow um, um, here is a rainbow bubble tip anemone and a green carpet anemone um, you'll also see a rock uh, full of zoas um, this tank is being ran by an inline um, uh, skimmer and a Seachem Title 75. Um, aside from that, I have the heater you can see right there. And it has two of the Innovative Marine uh, pumps um, that run simultaneously. Um, these actually, to me, honestly look like, uh, like the Jabo pumps but or very similar style but anyways so i'm running a radeon xr15 g4 um and this actually came from my big tank uh but when the it started leaking i tear, tore it apart sold it and used this for this tank and now that i'm gonna get ready to do the lighting on the other tank which i'll show y'all a video uh on one of my future videos um I took it off and then I placed it here and bought a bracket for it. Um, I'm going to have to buy a different Radeon because I don't want to really, you know, change the bracket. I thought it would be a good opportunity though that if I did go ahead and switch this one to the to the new 310 gallon one that I could maybe try out uh, either uh, the new G5 that is coming out. Um, you know what? That's probably a perfect idea. A new Radeon G5 that you know they're soon going to announce, or one of the many other lights that you know maybe the Red C one. Uh, I'm not 100% sure yet what I'm gonna do, but for now that's this is what I'm running. Um, my idle top offs have been manually, but I do plan on investing some uh, uh, money on maybe a small uh, little tank to go inside the stand. Um, yes, it's a mess. I actually hung everything up and the sticker, the, the double-sided tape that comes with these controllers were very weak and they fell. So um, I just have them laying around in the bottom of the stand and I'll um, I'll see what I'll do later. Uh, but yes, um, I'll see what I can fit under there so that I can you do an automatic top-off because yes, it's a pain in the butt to be always lugging around that five-gallon bucket to fill this up, you know, uh, to the top aside from that there the only uh fish that are in here are four of the black storm clownfish um this tank itself has been running here for about almost a year in april um for six months that i ran it uh, or no like four or five months that i ran it i ended up getting ick i transferred all the tr uh, fish over to a quarantine tank long story short they didn't make it um, it was a lot of the orange or pink skunk uh, clownfish. I had a, a seven of them. Uh, they all died. Uh, so I ran the tank fallow for three to four months. Um, and I believe it's ready now. So these fish here have been in for a week and I uh, see no signs of anything. Thank God. You know, because sometimes you never know. Some people tell you leave a fallow for six weeks. I'm eight. I decided to do double that just to make sure um there will be other fish that go in here like small wrasses maybe a one or two and a goby or so and that honestly will probably be it i don't plan on putting much of anything else i do have some turbo snails astrea snails uh one peppermint shrimp in here uh but again uh that's that's about it um once i do some different updates to this tank which i do plan to like with the light or uh, when I add other fish, I definitely plan to do it in another video, and I pl definitely plan on 
uh, making you know the light go white I just don't have my computer in front of me to control that light and I don't use the app on my phone um, I haven't really tried but just looking at it it was a bit like eh, you know like it's so much easier on a computer it seems a little bit difficult to me on the phone um, on the app for the phone um, but before I end this video the pumps have started and I do want to show y'all, you know, just so y'all can see what they look like swaying around. Uh, and that honestly will be the end of this video. Um, I have nothing really much more to say. If, if there's something you would want me to do another video on for this tank, let me know. If you have comments, questions, concerns, uh, also let me know. I'd be more than happy to respond. I really hope I get a likes for this uh, video and hope you leave a comment. And I really hope you subscribe. All right, guys. Well, here's uh, here's a tank while it's running uh, with the pumps on. And again, thank you for watching. And just a reminder, you know, I will uh, I will try to see if I take another do another video. Of course, clean the glass. <laughs> this is how it normally will always look, uh, unless you know I clean it once a week. Um, but I'll do another video with the lights turned to the white setting, so it's a little bit you know less blue like the camera shows it all right guys well thanks for watching and i'll see y'all and talk to y'all in the next video thanks guys